Did you know that the average person spends one year of their life looking for lost items? That's right, a whole year wasted on misplaced keys, phones, and important documents. Clutter isn't just messy, it's a productivity killer. It steals our time, energy, and even our peace of mind. The statistics are startling. Research shows that clutter can increase stress levels and lead to feelings of overwhelm. It can also negatively impact our sleep and make it difficult to focus on tasks. Clutter is more than just a physical problem. It affects our mental and emotional well-being too. It's time to break free from the grip of clutter and create a space where we can thrive. Let's embark on a journey to reclaim our space and our lives, one organized corner at a time. Imagine this, you sit down at your desk, ready to tackle an important project. But as you glance around, your eyes are met with piles of paper, scattered pens, and unfinished tasks. The weight of the clutter feels heavy, and your motivation begins to dwindle. This is the insidious nature of clutter. It has a way of creeping into our lives and slowly chipping away at our productivity. It distracts us, overwhelms our senses, and makes it difficult to focus on the task at hand. Our brains thrive on order and clarity. When we're surrounded by clutter, our minds have to work overtime to process all the visual stimuli. This leads to mental fatigue, decreased concentration, and a decline in our ability to make decisions effectively. Clutter also has a negative impact on our time management skills. We waste precious minutes searching for things we can't find, and our to-do lists seem to grow longer by the day. Now picture a different scenario. You enter your workspace, and your eyes are met with a clean desk, organized shelves, and a sense of calm order. You take a deep breath, and a wave of tranquility washes over you. This is the power of a clutter-free environment. When we create a space that is free from distractions, we create space in our minds as well. A clutter-free environment promotes a sense of peace and tranquility, allowing us to think more clearly and focus on what truly matters. It's not just about aesthetics. It's about creating an environment that supports our productivity and well-being. Studies have shown that people who work in organized spaces are more efficient, less stressed, and more likely to achieve their goals. A clutter-free home is also a healthier home. Dust and allergens tend to accumulate in cluttered areas, which can exacerbate allergies and respiratory problems. By decluttering, we improve the air quality in our homes and create a healthier living environment for ourselves and our families. Ready to reclaim your space and your life? Let's dive into a step-by-step -step guide to decluttering based on my KonMari method trademark. First, decluttering takes time and effort. Visualize your ideal lifestyle. What kind of energy do you want to invite into your home? Focus on decluttering by category. Make mindful decisions about what to keep and what to let go of. Try my KonMari folding method trademark to maximize space. Declutter in the following order clothes, books, papers, miscellaneous items, and sentimental items. Section 5. The One-In, One-Out Rule. Maintaining your clutter-free oasis. Congratulations on decluttering your space. Now, let's talk about how to maintain this newfound sense of order and prevent clutter from creeping back in. One effective strategy is the One-In, One-Out Rule. This rule is simple for every new item you bring into your home, you must get rid of one item. For example, if you buy a new pair of shoes, donate or discard an old pair. This helps you be more mindful of your purchases and prevents unnecessary accumulation. Another important aspect of maintaining a clutter-free space is having designated spots for everything. When everything has a home, it's easier to put things away and maintain order. Invest in storage solutions that work for your space and lifestyle, such as shelves, drawers, baskets, and containers. Make decluttering a regular habit. Set aside a few minutes each day or week to tidy up and put things back in their designated places. Section 6. Digital Debris. Taming the chaos in your virtual world. Clutter isn't just a physical phenomenon. It can also accumulate in our digital spaces, leading to feelings of overwhelm and decreased productivity. Digital clutter includes overflowing inboxes, cluttered desktops, and an excessive number of files and folders. Just like physical clutter, digital clutter can be a major distraction and drain on our time and energy. 
it's important to address digital clutter with the same level of intentionality as we do physical clutter. Start by decluttering your inbox. Unsubscribe from newsletters you no longer read, create folders to organize important emails, and delete junk mail regularly. Aim for inbox zero at the end of each day. Next, tackle your computer's desktop. Create folders to organize files and shortcuts and delete any unnecessary files. Consider using cloud storage services to free up space on your hard drive. Take some time to organize your phone as well. Delete unused apps, organize apps into folders, and clear out your photo library. Remember, a clutter-free digital life contributes to a clearer mind and a more productive view. Section 7. Clear Mind, Clear Space Strategies for Mental Decluttering While physical and digital decluttering are essential, it's equally important to address the clutter in our minds. Mental clutter can manifest as racing thoughts, worries, to-do lists, and unfinished business. Mental decluttering is about creating space in our minds to think clearly, make decisions with intention, and find a sense of inner peace. Here are some strategies to help you declutter your mind. 1. Regular mindfulness practice helps us become more aware of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. It allows us to observe our thoughts without getting carried away by them, creating a sense of mental spaciousness. 2. Writing down our thoughts and feelings can be incredibly therapeutic. It allows us to process emotions, release mental clutter, and gain clarity on our thoughts and feelings. 3. Often, mental clutter stems from feeling overwhelmed by too many tasks and responsibilities. Take some time to prioritize your to-do list and delegate tasks whenever possible. Section 8. The joy of less finding freedom in an organized life. As we declutter our physical, digital and mental spaces, we begin to experience the transformative power of minimalism. Minimalism isn't about deprivation, it's about living intentionally and prioritizing what truly matters. It's about letting go of the things that no longer serve us, physical possessions, digital distractions and negative thought patterns, so we can make space for the things that bring us joy, purpose and fulfillment. When we embrace a minimalist mindset, we free ourselves from the weight of consumerism and the constant pursuit of more. We begin to appreciate the beauty of simplicity and find contentment in the present moment. Minimalism is a journey, not a destination. It's about finding what brings us joy and creating a life that reflects our values and priorities. Section 9. Cultivating Mindfulness, a key to sustained order. Maintaining a clutter-free life isn't just about following a set of rules, it's about cultivating mindfulness in our everyday actions. Mindfulness, in this context, means being present and aware of our choices and their impact on our environment and well-being. When we approach decluttering and organizing with mindfulness, we're less likely to make impulsive purchases, accumulate unnecessary items, or let clutter build up in the first place. We become more conscious consumers thoughtful curators of our belongings and mindful stewards of our space. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily routines. When you're putting away groceries, take a moment to appreciate the abundance in your life. When you're getting dressed, choose clothes that make you feel good and reflect your personal style. Section 10. Small steps. Big impact. Celebrating your decluttering journey. Remember, decluttering is a journey not a race. It's okay to start small and focus on one area or category at a time. Celebrate your progress along the way, no matter how big or small. Acknowledge the effort you're putting in and the positive impact it's having on your life. Share your decluttering journey with friends and family and inspire them to create more peaceful and productive spaces in their own lives. Remember, every item you declutter, every email you organize, and every thought you release creates space for something new to emerge. Creativity, productivity, joy, and a renewed sense of purpose. Section 11, a clutter-free future, embracing simplicity and intention. As we move towards a clutter-free future, let's embrace the transformative power of simplicity and intention. Let's be mindful of our consumption, grateful for what we have, and committed to creating spaces that nourish our minds, bodies, and souls. Let's choose experiences over possessions, quality over quantity, and intention over impulse. 
Let's create homes that are havens of peace and tranquility, and lives that are filled with purpose, joy and meaning. The journey to a clutter-free life begins with a single step. Let's take that step together, one organized corner at a time.